I was supposed to be on Ben Island, but I escaped from Ben Island to get this bag because of you Instagram friends who nudged me into it. So I'm totally going to blame you guys for this purchase. Hello friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today I have a super exciting unboxing because it is a special edition, a limited edition at that. So uh, I wanted to do this urgently and put the Paris haul aside for the time being because I think this is a little bit urgent in case any of you are interested to get this bag at the end of this video. You should probably check it out sooner than later because they are limited. But before that, I want to say a huge thank you to all of you and I'm really so so grateful. I finally reached 500 subscribers and I'm just so thrilled that I can finally give away that celebratory gift to one of you. I will put a link to the video that I did about more than a year ago when I saw these very cute little also limited edition gifts which I bought for you guys because they were so cute, I bought for myself and then I thought I need to buy a few more pieces and then give them away as, as a celebration uh, at different milestones of my YouTube journey. So I will put a link to that video down somewhere in the description box or in the comments so you can check out what they are exactly. I gave away the first one at Christmas that year. It was Christmas 2022 and it went to somebody in the US. She was so happy, she sent me a, a message that she received it and she was so happy with it. So the second one was to be given when I reached 500 subscribers, which I have just achieved. And then the third one will be when I reach 1000 subscribers. It's just a way for me to celebrate. I mean, I'm on this YouTube journey as a hobby. So I am just, you know, doing this for fun and, and to connect with people, like-minded people to also document my journey as a retiree. So I hope you guys are interested to walk this journey with me and if you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, I hope you will click the subscribe button. It, it costs nothing at all, it's absolutely free. So just subscribe and I hope you enjoy the YouTube videos that I make and uh, yeah, I will be so encouraged to do this uh, further. So I will put a separate video because I don't want to make this too long on, on regarding the details of how to enter in a few days time. So watch out for that. But today, it's all about this bag. So I nearly didn't buy this bag, but it is also very sudden that I saw this bag. I caught sight of it. I don't, I don't even remember exactly where. I think it was on Instagram. I saw a picture of it. And uh, I was instantly attracted to the color combination of this bag. This is a, a pretty popular bag that uh, I've seen on, on social media, but uh, I did not really like urgently want to get it. But when I saw that color and also the fact that it is limited edition and uh, the connection that it has with myself, I decided to check it out. So I spent the next two days after that researching, finding out more about people's reviews, whether it's a good quality bag and uh, also about the brand itself. So after two days, I decided, okay, it's worth checking it out at the store. I went to the store, I tried it on, I really liked it. It was like what I saw on the pictures. Uh, and I like how it felt on me. I like the, the functionality of it, everything. Until I opened the bag, I looked inside and I was surprised or almost uh, startled. But that moment I told the essay, okay, I need to go downstairs, grab a coffee, sit down somewhere and think about it because I did not expect to see this. So I went away and when I said I wanted to think about it, I basically threw the ball into the courts of my dear Instagram friends and uh, I showed pictures of me trying the bag and the inside of the bag and then they came back and said oh it's not that bad it's, it looks quite cute in fact and some people even said they'll totally buy it just for that thing in the bag which I'm going to show you in a minute and there were other also very constructive uh, suggestions that if I don't want to see that thing inside I could get a bag insert and just totally conceal it so what exactly is it? Let me just show you the unboxing first.
Yes, I got myself a Forever Pouch Daily Battle Tote in the size 35. And here she is. Let me just get her out of the paper bag. It doesn't come with a box. So they say that this style of bag does not include a box. I don't know if they include a box for the other styles, but this is what I picked up. Some of you may already own this bag, but I love this color combination, the navy blue. In some pictures, actually, it looks, it looks darker than uh, it actually is. And I love the little bits of red all over, which stands out. And you see that dual color on the handles as well. So the material is very sturdy. I like the feel of the material. If you compare this with their probably the closest competitor. The other ones are a little bit more flimsy. I will definitely come back and do a review of this bag and uh, let me give it some use for uh, maybe a few months and then I'll come back and do a review. In fact, I've got tons of reviews to do for you. If you guys think that I'm only here to do unboxings, no, 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 it's, that's not true. It's just that I have a backlog of unboxings to do. So I'll clear that and then I'll come back and do reviews of my handbags. But look at how gorgeous is it. And they say that they actually do a seven-step treatment on the canvas, which makes it more durable and more water resistant, which is great, you know. So here she is, a close-up. Uh, over here, they have leather trimmings, the corners, four corners, as well as the, the piping are made of leather and it's Pebbled leather, grain leather, which is excellent. I think repairing canvas will be harder. If you get any permanent or deep scratch on the canvas, it will be a bit harder to repair versus getting your scuffs or scratches on a leather. So I think it's really good. And also the leather is quite pliable, which is great as well. I do believe that if the leather is too stiff, it might be subject to cracking quite quickly. And this limited edition comes with uh, this charm which is like the flame of the dragon or some people say it looks like the tail of the dragon. This is the dragon scale series in celebration of the year of the dragon 2024 and uh, it's limited so they only released 600 pieces of this around the world and apparently in Singapore the store was only given 40 pieces to sell and at the point in time when I went to buy this uh, they had already sold about 15, I think. The other thing is, uh, it is numbered. Not only is it limited in quantity, each piece has a unique number which is inside. I'll show you in a bit. From the list of the remaining bags that they had in store, and I could choose the number that I preferred. There's not a lot of hardware, but over here, the buckle actually shows their brand name. I'm not sure you can see it. There's Forer Le Parch actually on this here. And if you notice, there are many holes on the strap, so it's super adjustable. So you can you guess how many holes there are, if you haven't already seen it? There are actually 17. I can't believe it, it doesn't look like it, but actually there are 17 holes. You can use it super short, like a little top handle, like a little basket, or middle, and then put it in the crook of your arm, or if you like it on, the, on your shoulder, just set it to the longer setting. So actually, this one is not even the longest setting. There's still some more holes here. And I can definitely put it on my shoulder. Why 17? So, because they opened their first store in the year 1717. That's why. That is plain. This one is just purely decorative. These little buttons here, they, they are not really buttons that you can remove. But just little touches. Oh, and you can see this here. These little loops here are supposed to look like cartridge holder, you know, the gun cartridge. So, uh, if you know for the Parch's history, they actually start off as a weapons manufacturer and they supplied to the military and even to royalty. Then they started making holsters for the guns and from there, they branched out into making other leather goods. I think it was in 2009 that they have totally gone into making luxury leather products and uh, 
that's what uh, they are into now. But they are his historically, they're actually uh, gun or weapons manufacturers. And this is this shows a little bit, bit of their history. But now they have this here for you to attach other charms that you may have. In fact, you can also purchase charms from them. Well, they call medals because medals is what the soldiers hang on their or wear on their uniforms, right? So you know, all the connection with their history. And uh, I think it's very smart of them marketing wise because then they can sell the medals or charms to you. And they do have quite a lot of nice ones. Uh, you can of course attach your own charms over here as well. This one came with the bag, this series, but usually you will not get any charm uh, with the tote bag. Let's look on the inside and talk about the thing that nearly stopped me from buying this bag. So I have stuffed it uh, so that you can see the shape of the bag. Oh, uh, what came with the whole thing was yeah the receipt. Actually, I was disappointed that the receipt wasn't even put in a nice little folder. <laughs> well, you know, these little touches and uh, there's a coffee table book and then a couple of cards here. So there were two cards included inside. One was a welcome card, but the other one tells you about the general maintenance or care of the bag. But here is what I like. It tells you that if you wish to have your bag restored after long use or with, if it meets with a mishap, please let us know. Our atelier is available to carry out restoration and repair services. Excellent. Now, for the inside, this little fella. I did not expect to see this. This was not shown in any of the on the website. I thought it was it was going to be the emblem. I think for the regular ones they have the, the coat of arms, the emblem there, but then when I opened it and I saw this, I don't know, you know, I thought it looked like a fierce dragon, but then after thinking about it again, also asking my Instagram friends, they thought it doesn't look that scary. Yeah, it just I wish it was something cute like like one of these. Why don't you make it like that? That would have been so much better. Maybe I'll just put this over this <laughs> and cover it. Yeah, so my dear Instagram friends were so good. They recommended that I cover it. If it bothers me, put a bag insert or something, cover it. And I was thinking I could also totally like put a handkerchief or something on this slip pocket and, and just cover it if it bothers me. But so yes, there is a slip pocket. That's all they have. The, no, no other zips or other pockets, but you do have that D-ring here. That's where the charm is being attached to. You can also purchase, they sell as well, some pouches, I think, with a strap attached. So if you're afraid of it, because this one doesn't come with a zip, so you might want to get a pouch and attach it to the D-ring to keep something that's more valuable like maybe your card holder or your cash stuff like that so that option is there for you the material inside it's a fabric material it's like cotton fabric kind of material except for this back part the back part this this is leather but the rest of it is is fabric well what do you guys think i, I am uh, excited to use this bag and uh, I, I think the whole thing is just perfect because it's it feels durable and also the color I will definitely not have any concern about wearing this over jeans or any dark colored colored clothing so oh wait I will be inserting footage of my shopping trip at Forever Parch at the end of this video so don't go away yet stay till the end and look at the beautiful store uh, you will see other goodies as well as other products under this Dragon Scale series. Just want to show you where the number is. So each piece, each of the 600 pieces, like I said, 600 pieces released in the world. So each one has a unique number. That under the brand name, Flora Lepage, Paris, and then that's the number. And then that's above the dragon head.
I just remembered that I wanted to say that I was supposed to be on Ban Island, but I escaped from Ban Island to get this bag because of you Instagram friends who nudged me into it. So I'm totally going to blame you guys for this purchase. So if you're one of them who nudged me into this, fess up, comment down below, put the hand sign and say that you were one of them who encouraged me to buy this bag. <laughs> totally blaming you. Okay, I'm going out to run some errands with this bag. Grocery shopping. See ya!